Hello Broadway kids, this is Miss Melissa and today this video is for Bells and Beasts or Princes. We are going to go over the finale. It's a beautiful song and there are harmonies to it and it can be pretty tricky so please work on this as often as you can. First thing we're going to do is sing it with the vocal track. On the digital script it's page 119 and we just started Chip just finished saying, do I still have to sleep in the cupboard? Fantastic. So now we're going to go over each part of the keyboard. All right. So first we're going to play the melody that you all recognize. This is the part that I want to stick out the most. This is the key and the octave that is written in. to stick out. Here is it an octave lower for the boys and the men to sing. Great. So please practice that. That is what I want to hear. But if you feel really confident and you and Bell and you and Beast or Prince at this point feel really confident we can do the Bell sings the top line and the Prince sings the bottom line or you can flip it and just switch octaves. So now we're just going to hear the top line. It sounds like the melody the first half and then switches and does. Here's the keyboard playing the top part. tricky. Let's start just from two hearts become one now on that top line again. Awesome. We really need you confident that part so just rewind and play that over and over again. Now we're going to do the bottom part so it says written for prints. Uh, two lives have begun now. And what's tricky about that is that you have some harmony and some melody thrown in. Let's do the bottom line one more time to listen to it. Now we're going to play both parts together on the keyboard. See if you can hear your part and then keep starting this over and sing it with your part. I just want to bring to your attention that we do have a line in the middle that's unison. It's one passion, one dream. So really think about that on an actor's point of view. Why is that part unison? This is finally the Prince and Bell are coming together. So now we're going to practice it playing two parts on the keyboard at the same time. But again, if you feel overwhelmed, please just go back and listen to the melody and I am totally happy with that. All right, keep practicing and good luck.